Folks, uh, this is rearranging the formula of the subject. You will possibly get these towards the back of a foundation paper or the beginning or mid of a higher paper. I'm going to try and explain this as simply as possible. Uh, and I hope you understand it. So, it's algebra. So there's letters and there's numbers. So it's just like if let's make up a question here, uh, da, 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 an algebraic question, let's say x plus 2 equals 5. We need to take this 2 over the equal sign and change this sign. So it's a plus, it becomes a negative. So it'd be x equals 5 minus 2. So x equals 3. So that's basic algebra. Both papers understand that. You should understand that. If you don't understand this, you need to go to my basic algebra videos and stack up on your information of the basics first. So now it's asking make Z the subject. So the thing that's different here is it's stuck to the two. Whereas it's just floating about, it's fine there, it's not stuck to anything. It's actually stuck to as to the Z. Now, as you know that when it is stuck, we had a 3X, it's stuck together like that. We're going to multiply. So, first of all, we're going to get this X. And we're going to take it all the way over our equal sign. And that is a plus, so it becomes a negative. So now we have negative x. And add to z. Now they're stuck together. We need to multiply. Now if minus, the opposite to that is plus, what do you think the opposite of multiplication is? Because that's a multiplication. Let's divide. So what you're going to do now is drop. Rewrite it here where there's more space. Is drop that two down to a divide. Because obviously this is a divide. And there you have it. That's your answer. Let's do another one. But the rule makes it the subject, actually. So I said here. So what we're going to do, we'll take this 3D over. So we could do it's a plus at the minute, so it becomes a minus. It now equals 7Z. And of course, this is a multiplication because they're stuck together. Opposite to multiplication, divide. So we take the z down. And our new answer is 4c minus 3d all over 7 equals z. You understand it so far? So you've got two steps, haven't you, there? Taking it over the equal sign and dealing with the number that is attached with the letter. So far, so good. Next one. This is actually a divide. So it's a divide over y, something like that. So need to get z low. So let's think about it. We said divide, the opposite is two times. So now this is in that format. We divided, didn't we? So now we've got to take the y up. So it's going to be 4x. Why? Because we're taking it up, we're adding it to that, we're multiplying it with that. Equals 
five set. Are we all happy with that? We've done the opposite. So this is a divide. So the opposite is to times. So that goes up to there. So we've got 4xy equals 5z. Now, back to normal. They're attached. So now we're going to do all over 5. Because it's a multiplication again. We're going to drop it down. So that's your answer. Happy? All we're doing is a lot of multi opposites, aren't we? We're doing the opposite multiplication. We divide, divide, we multiply. Let's do another one. This is 7x over 3a. So, need to get z on its own. So, this is a divide. So, we're now going to take it up. So here as a multiplication. So we now have, well, this a little bit different here actually. We've got a number in front of our A. We didn't there, did we? It was just a Y, it's nice and simple to do. So what you have to do is you have to times, because it's a divide, this time we're gonna times our numbers. So now we have, 7z equals 2 times 3, 6, 6ab. So you're actually times in the numbers out first. And then you have z, and you know what you're going to do because it's a multiplication. We're dropping it down, and it becomes a oh, seven as a divide. So the answer is six AB over seven. Hope you're understanding this. Finally, we have another one that looks like uh, an equation as we did at the top. The only difference is it's negative. Don't be afraid because when you know the rule minus and the plus, when it goes over the equal sign, it changes. It doesn't matter what, if it's a negative first, it really doesn't. So need to get Z on our own. We've got 3a, so minus b, take that over, it's going to become a plus b. So now we've got 3a plus b equals 5z. And we know what to do. They're attached, it's multiplication, so we're going to drop z down. So that's now 3a plus b all over z equals 5. Sorry, not 5, equals z. So it's nice and simple, isn't it, that one? Once again, it's all about multiplication, divide, plus, minus. You know, that's all it is. Re it is literally rearranging the formula. You're just rearranging everything to get to the letter that you want to get it to the unknown. So let's head over to here. So we've got 7y plus 2x equals z. We want x as a subject. So we're going to do 2x plus 2x. all over, take that down, two. So there we have it. Z minus seven Y, all over two equals X. Okay, let's do this one. Got to get Y on its own. So, there we go. Plus 9z because it's negative and we've taken that over the equal sign. Equals 4y. We're going to divide that out. Okay. 
How's that? You getting it? Next one. Two y equals five z over four x. We need to get z to be the subject. Same routine. That's going to be a times because it's a divide. Two y plus four x equals five z. That's the multiplication. We're going to do the opposite. So the answer is two y plus 4x equals Z. There you go. That's your answer. All done is reversed it. We've rearranged it. Next one. This looks a bit different, doesn't it? A plus 2B over 3 equals C. Okay. Do we do anything different here? Mm, no, nah, not really. So we're going to do... What you do is with the three, actually, there is something different you do need to do. I think we did it. Where did we do it? We did it here, didn't we? We had to times that out. So you can't just leave it. So what we have got is you don't times anything that's on the top. You just leave that as it is. So that's A plus 2B. equals so this is your change it's a divide so your times and that becomes three c but it's asking us to make a the upset the make a the blah, 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 make a the subject so what you have to do now is just rearrange it so we're going to do a equals now that is a plus 2b because that's attached to that. It's going over the equal signs. So the answer is a equals 3c minus 2b. And then finally, same sort of question. You've got to make b the subject and we've got a 2c. So let's deal with our numbers first. So we've got two times eight, so we've got 16 CD, because that just goes up and attaches, equals B minus three A. So there we go, we've sorted out the first step. We need to get B on its own. Well, this one's actually quite easy, isn't it? So all we've got to do is take that over the equal sign. So then we have 16 CD plus three A, equals b right i hope you understood that um it's a little bit different a few more steps in there but you should be able to get it if you do have issues with it drop me a message in the comment box and i'll try and help you break down the, the step that you'll get getting uh, stuck on and struggling on Okay, thank you. Bye.